Pace Spawn, and he intends to kill everyone. Welcome to the Complete Story Series, where I take trade paperbacks and single issues, and I break them down into digestible bites. Then I read it dramatically back to you. All alterations to the panel section and images are to prevent copyright problems, and all art is owned by its respective companies. And Spawn is the greatest superhero ever. He didn't make me say that, or he'll kill me. Now, in our last Spawn video, I told you guys that Comic Storian is a family-friendly channel, and therefore I intended to censor Spawn just a little bit. Maybe I didn't explain it well enough, but what was censored was sexual assault and rape mentions. We never censor violence, and I'm a little offended that you guys would think that we would censor the violence after all of the crazy comic books that we've done. So, I decided to prove it to you guys. As Spawn shoots up two guys punching holes through them, a chain wraps around a few more, spilling blood all over the floor, and Spawn leaps through someone else's body, shedding their bones and guts. Alright, hold on. Let me roll this story back a few minutes. Spawn started this adventure by sitting on the toilet reading his own comic book. Uh, he might be a little shorter, pudgier, and childlike than you remember. He also has hot dog sized biceps. But this is Spawn, and he's currently come to San Diego Comic Con to announce his new movie. With superhero movies being all the rage, it's time for a comeback. He walks out of the bathroom and into the central hallways where he overhears a few girls stating that up in Hall H is where all of the news and previews for the latest movies is happening. So that's when Spawn figures. He'll go up there and announce his new movie. He rounds the corner to the stairs and he sees a line of superheroes. Sure, they don't look exactly like themselves, but the movies touch them up to make them look perfect, don't they? He tells them all to stand by. It's time for Spawn to shine. And someone who looks like a version of Wolverine tells them, the contest starts in the back. So Spawn responds by telling them, once I break my news, this won't even be a contest. I've decided to keep his voice deep, even though he's much shorter in this comic. The various superheroes all reach out to grab Spawn's cape, but he throws them all back, telling them to back off. Then a chubby Hulk grabs him and flings him into the air. Spawn shouts, hey, no one cares about a second sequel for you. And then he uses his cape to wrap it around the Hulk's face. As he dangles by his cape, the Hulk begins to suffocate and falls to the ground on top of Spawn. He drags himself out, stating, wow, the Hulk is heavy. Must be both Edward Nord and Mark Ruffin underneath all that makeup. He walks over to see a guy in a red and black costume going by the name of Deadpool. So he pulls out a gun. Sorry, Ryan Gosling. There isn't enough room for two R-rated black and red costumed movie heroes. I don't care how many times you flash your butt cheeks. Then he blows a hole through Deadpool's face. There goes your sequel, Ryan, because now you're dead in a pool of blood. Yoda and Darth Vader run over telling Spawn that he's going to be disqualified for using real guns. And all three of them end up in a dust cloud of a battle. Then Spawn grabs Yoda, holding holding him up as Vader swings his lightsaber, cutting off Yoda's head. Then Spawn kicks Yoda's head into Vader, knocking him over, and then he shoots the chandelier off of the ceiling, crushing Darth Vader. He runs to the escalator, jumping on the handrail and running up it as two San Diego Comic-Con guards begin to chase him. Leaping over them, he sees the door to the contest and he sees Iron Man in the way. So he grabs the red carpet, pulling it out from underneath Iron Man, throwing him to the ground. Then he walks onto Iron Man's chest, guns ready. He pulls out a knife and he cuts open the armor, seeing some weird kid inside? You're not Robert Downey Jr. I know. I don't like being tricked. And Spawn blows him up. In the explosion, he also manages to kill Pikachu, Jordan LaForge, Green Lantern, and another Wolverine. Then, honestly, just because they're there, he cuts off Red Skull and Donald Trump's heads, and then he swaps their heads onto each other's bodies, stating that it's a bit more accurate. I wonder if the writer was trying to say something about Donald Trump here. With blood and gore all behind him, he walks over to Venom and pokes him on the shoulder with his cape. Venom turns around. It's not your turn! So Spawn kicks him in the knee, jumps onto his face, and then he farts into the costume. That's it! He's made it to the door, and when he opens it, he finds zombies, walkers, and the cast of the Walking Dead. He looks at the crowd. Don't panic, everyone. I'll take care of this. And he rapid fire shoots all of them. Any of them that didn't die then meet his chains as he flings them all over, slicing off fingers, heads, arms, feet, and other bodily appendages. The whole time he's shouting, kill, 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 kill. Sorry, Mr. Kirkman, this was long overdue. Now get back to writing about superheroes or a spawn annual or a spawn graphic novel. The audience begins to clap as this was the best staged event ever at the cosplay contest. And that's what Todd McFarlane himself walked walks over to give the cosplay trophy to the mini Spawn. He holds up Spawn's hand asking the audience, isn't this guy cute? So Spawn jumps in the air, no, 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 no! And he tears off his mask, I'm puking a suit! Is this cute to you? And everyone claps even more at the length that he went to for his costume. Spawn is fed up and he calls Todd over and then he blows a hole in his chest, so big that when the body slumps over, little Spawn is standing in the hole. And this is just the beginning, isn't it?
Now, for those of you guys wondering, yes, we are going to bring back the spawn books. The only reason it went on a hiatus after the last episode is because I was on vacation. It had nothing to do with the comments or the family friendliness. We will always be censoring out any references to sexual assault, rape, self-harm, stuff that some comic books like to go to to be extreme, but they don't always relate to the storylines. And don't worry, guys. If there is an important storyline where that is actually important to the story, that's a different situation. We're just getting rid of the ones that don't matter. Jeez, just go watch Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. Anyway, guys, thanks so much. Follow me on Twitter at Comic Story and on Instagram, and I'll see you next time right here.